chicken pot pie does not miss literally everybody loves it and i'm gonna show you how i make it for under eight bucks first thing you want to do is debone that thigh do not use chicken breast it is not a substitute it will be dry you could buy boneless thighs but you won't look like a pro chef now you just make two small slits in the back of the thigh slip your knife right under and take that bone out trim off any excess meat on the bone because you're going to need that Now you're going to want to remove the skin. It's going to make the pie chew if you leave it in there. So just grab it and it comes off real easy. Now just check the thigh for any bits of bone or cartilage. You don't want that. As you can see, I left a piece behind. Just quickly remove it. Next, you want to cut the thigh into strips and then cut into cubes about half an inch thick. Now for this recipe, I used about a pack of thighs, which is about four or five of them. So I'm going to season it with half a tablespoon of black pepper, about half a tablespoon of paprika, and kosher salt. If you don't use kosher salt, you're a bad chef, as Food Network has told me countless times. Just toss that around in your chicken and get it nice and seasoned, and we're going to throw it in that pan with some hot butter. Yeah, hot butter. Now you're going to want to saute that chicken until it's nice and golden brown. Now there are a few types of cream based soups available on the market to buy. Cream of mushroom, cream of potato, cream of chicken, cream of celery, and just regular old cream. Now all the soups would taste good in the pie except for one, and that's cream of celery. It's absolutely terrible. Never use it. The chicken has developed a nice color, so now you're going to sprinkle in about half a tablespoon of flour, just regular all-purpose flour. What it's going to do is absorb the chicken juices and really tighten it up. Now for all those edging out there, I know you can't finish until I pop this can open, so this one's for you. Add your cream of mushroom to the pan, let it heat up, and you'll be on your way to finishing your pie. Now, if you don't have a pie dish, you can buy one at Walmart for four bucks, like the one you see here. You're also gonna buy at Walmart that pie crust. You're not gonna make it from scratch. Who do you think you are, Ina Garner? You're not, stop it. So just place that pie crust in the pan, make sure you leave no air pockets. Now you're gonna slice up your baby carrots. Don't use a real carrot, you're gonna have to peel it. They're hard to work with, just use baby carrots. And you're not a real chef unless you're cutting vegetables and some of it gets on the floor. That little bit of flour you added and that cream mushroom really made your pie filling thick and gooey. Now you're gonna add that much carrots, whatever that is, and stir it around and let it cook. Now you're gonna kill the heat and add your frozen peas to the filling mix. This ensures that the peas remain crisp while you serve your pie. Just stir it around once, then completely remove the pan from the hot burner. Now you're going to take the entire contents of that pan and fill it into your pie crust. Take the top layer of your pie crust and place it on top and crimp it with a fork. Now it's very important you cut vent holes into this pie. See I cut a smiley face into mine because I'm happy on the inside. Brush it with egg wash. Egg wash is a simple mixture of one egg beaten with a splash of water. Brush it all around the top of the pie, get into the nooks and crannies. This helps develop the golden brown color on the pie crust. Now you're going to want to bake the pie according to the instructions on the pie crust box. And the crust does have a tendency to burn, so you can cover it with one of these or easily use a piece of foil wrap. And if you followed all the instructions to a T, 
you can clearly see your pie crust has indeed converted to Hinduism as by the dot on the forehead. Now you really want to let this pie set and tighten up. You're, if you cut it now, it's going to be too runny. So what we're going to do is place something in front of the pie to prevent your loved ones, your spouse, or your children from getting to it. So what you can do is place a ball in front of the pie, some shiny jingly keys, or what I personally use, and it never fails, a loaded gun. The most important thing to remember is that nobody should touch this pie until it sets, or else when you slice it, it's going to be really runny. Now let's do a little taste test. See how flaky that crust is, see how easy that breaks, it comes apart. That's what you want to see. Nice gooey filling, crisp peas, it's hot, it's so hot, don't bite it right away. Let it cool for another couple of days at least, it's so hot. And there you have it. You kind of cooked a delicious chicken pot pie for about under 8 bucks. See you next time.